Okay, guys, we are back. And I'm going to show you guys how to bend the edges of our amazing little vase. We'll see how we do. So it's leather hard now. Which, again, just means that I've kept it in this Ziploc for a day or so. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is fold up the edges. Now, mine is the same on both sides, but if yours was different on both sides, like each side is different, then you would need to make sure that like you fold this one up and if this one matches, then you fold this one down. So like if this one had a different angle on this side, you would need to make sure that it matches on the same side. And I know that's going to be complicated until you see what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this up to where all the sides are going to meet the table at once. Now this is going to be complicated for you guys to see, I think. So we're not going to fold the bottom because we're going to make a bottom. And then we're not going to do the top because that's our top. So I folded up all the sides. Now this is the complicated part is that I folded the sides up to where they're all about even and you can test it. Now I brought my little tiny pan with me because to test it, we need to put it on here and we need to pinch it until all the edges meet the pan. You see how all the edges meet the pan now? And you gotta make sure both sides are like that. So then you gotta go to this side and again, make sure all edges meet the pan. Essentially my pan is my tabletop. So this would be my tabletop here, but um, I couldn't move my tabletop to show you guys. So now I'm gonna go through and just make sure that my vase, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute. I love it already. And then you could like, you know, mess with it a little bit. And then again, make sure all those edges are touching the tabletop at one time. So if I pull this off of here now, now it's stuck of course, right? Um, you can see that all my edges are gonna to touch at the same time. So you have to do a column on the table for it to work. So now this one, the same thing. I'm going to pull all these edges up to make sure that they all are meeting the table. I might have to keep this face. It's super cute. Gosh, sometimes I just surprise myself too. I'm going to do it on my actual table top because I got stuck on that one. So I'm going to do it here. But again, making sure that all these edges are touching the table. Let me work surface. And then you can decide like how beveled you want this. Like if you want it more beveled, I like it more beveled, I think. More rounded. Okay, so now I have my two sides bent to where all the edges touch the table. So then when I lift these up, they stay because one, they're leather hard. And then now I can just slip and score these little guys together. Oh, isn't that so magic? <laughs> so this one, I couldn't find any examples of this online. That's why I wanted to make sure that you guys saw it because it can turn out so cute. So once I have it all slip and scored together, it's gonna be this cute little vase. And I can decide if I want these wings or if I want them to be more flat. Um, so I'm gonna slip and score these. Let's see, yeah. So I'm gonna slip and score these and then I'm gonna add a coil on these so that way um, I know that the seam is real nice and together. So let me get my trusty deal here. I'm gonna use my water, my paintbrush, and slip and score. Make sure you slip and score in two directions so it gets nice and goopy. Goopy is a very technical term. Okay, oh, I'll just leave it like that, I guess. Undo this side. Okay, 
And then you're going to slip and score these guys together. So we've already scored it, slipped it, and now we just push them together. Oh, yeah. So excited. All right, so now I've pushed them together. Make sure they're nice and tight there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I could um, just use my thumb and smooth out this seam. You want to do a little bit on the inside too. Make sure it's nice and sealed because especially if you want to add water to this, you're going to make sure that it's nice and sealed. I'm going to take some fresh clay. And roll out some fresh clay here. And because I've already scored up the sides, I'm just going to get my little coil wet. And then I'm just going to add my little coil here. This just creates a nice solid seam. You can just blend it in. Sometimes you might want to hold the inside with your finger so you don't lose your shape. And sometimes it's not absolutely necessary to use the coil, but I think it helps just add stability to it. So once I have these all done up here, oh, that water's cold. I'm holding it inside with my other finger. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could take it on the inside too. You want to make sure those are nice and pretty on the inside as well, because you will see this inside. So you're going to just blend this out now. So I kind of made it rough looking, um, and now I'm going to just make it nice and smooth. Um, another thing that you could do, so now you can kind of manipulate the shape a little bit, like pull out edges you want to, maybe I want those to be a little bit more flattened. Push out edges that maybe got sunk in from my smoothing. And then you're going to want to let this um, maybe sit up for another day in your plastic bag um, before you start carving it. Like mine's still a bit wet. So I would probably want to let it sit for a little bit. Clean up those edges real good. You could also take, um, I wouldn't take, well, this would work actually, but you could take like a spatula and you can just kind of hit the seam a little bit and make it a little bit more rounded or even just smooth it out to where it doesn't look like it was a seam at all. It will really help blend that in. Again, you can use this time to kind of make things look a little bit more rounded if you want it more rounded. Make sure it's all nice and blended on the inside. You can either hit it or whatever makes it work for you. Oh my god, there was a spider in that. Blech. I don't like that at all. Not happy. Sorry, spider, you're done. Oh, the beauty of working in the garage. <laughs> I just do not like spiders. Sorry. Sorry if I offended anybody by killing the spider, but it must die.
All right, so now what I would do is roll out another piece of clay. Set Like if this was a piece of clay here, I would set it on top and then I'm just gonna trace the bottom and then slip and score it to the bottom. And then once you guys let it sit up for another day, um, you know, like let it get a little bit more leather hard, then you can take, just like we did everything else, and you can trace something on there, or you can freehand um, sketch it on, but whatever you decide to do, now you can have this beautiful favorite place on your vase. So, I'm going to leave you guys at that. Have a great day.